Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about incompetent software developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, there are so many incompetent software engineers. How do incompetent, how is it that they keep their jobs and don't get fired? So it's uh, it's actually very simple. Usually why incompetent software developers don't get fired is because you have incompetent managers. That's almost always the case. That's uh, 99% of the time the reason. And there is a little bit of a side thing to the whole thing, which is office culture. Like um, it's not considered polite in our current ecosystem to, well, depending on your region, of course, to say that somebody's incompetent. So nobody talks about it and the results aren't really that great. And the be beautiful part about being incompetent is that when you say that something's very difficult, when that is like always the case, everything's always very hard, everything is always this and that, uh, you're not really lying. It's just that uh, the people who are listening to you are too stupid to understand that this is actually not a problem. It's just you. And that is the problem with having incompetent management. Who does it? They don't they even themselves know what a simple problem is and what a hard problem is in software. Because the software developer is basically a wizard. And as I like to say, it's like magic. If, if you come to me and you're I'm peddling magic, how the hell will you know if I if it's a tricky spell I'm gonna cast or a simple thing? You don't. You just have to trust me, and that what it's come down it comes down to you trust blindly that the person that you're talking to is competent and you have no idea how common this is especially in the large organizations there are software developers guys that are so incompetent that they are single they are single-handedly holding back like entire departments of people in the large com in the large companies in smaller companies it's the same sort of deal because it, when people don't know any better, and it's no different from you know yourself if you really think about it, how do you figure out if you're going to hire a contractor or someone who's going to fix something for you or so forth, if they're good or not? Well, you go with what everybody's recommending. And the people who are usually doing the recommendations are other people just as ignorant as you and I, depending on what we're doing. And it's actually that simple. You think, and a lot of people do think, that software engineering and like IT is full of like really smart people. Yes, there are a lot of smart people, but the average uh, uh, man IT company is full of completely incompetent management. Uh, to the point where it, they are incompetent, to the point where you know this saying that I th think is it's hilarious, where they say, "I hire smarter people than me." and then I listen to them. That is the sad excuse of an incompetent manager who does not have the necessary technical skills to actually know how to hire good people, how to make sure that things are on track, etc, etc. They just hire people based on gut feeling and then they hope and pray that by just listening to these people everything is going to go, go well. Because the thing is, guys, you can apply that mentality, and it is a very good mentality, but I think that most people use it as an excuse for being incompetent. If you are a general within an army, you have to do exactly that, because it makes a lot of sense. If your scouts or like your, your soldiers come back to you from the front and say, hey, the enemy is here, there's this and that going on, etc., etc., they know more than you, and you, have, you should listen to them, absolutely. But you cannot be incompetent to the point where you don't understand that, you know what, there's a lot of reports that are sort of like, one guy was saying that there's a hundred guys, uh, the enemy soldiers or whatever coming, and one said there was a million. I should probably check some stuff. And you have to be competent enough to actually do that. And this is why incompetent software developers are so common in IT. Because the reality is that the average IT company does actually have uh, d does not have competent managers, engineering managers, or like uh, whatever. Because as I said, the, it is an extremely technical field, and to most people, what a software developer does is basically magic. And that's why I always tell anybody who asks me related to you know hiring people and staffing and so forth and so forth. In general, you should never never ever 
have a hiring process or any way of working that does not include some type of quality check of the people that come into your company and that quality check is worth nothing if the people doing the evaluation are as incompetent as you are related to hiring and if you don't know how to actually hire someone who really knows their stuff about software engineering or anything like that then yeah you're gonna have to sort of figure out the organic way when someone is incompetent and actually it's not that difficult to figure that out it's just that it is a lot harder than it is to get it right before you pick these people up and pull them into your company the way you usually figure out if somebody is incompetent as a software engineer or something like that is that you look at the performance of that person in comparison to what most are performing what the level that most are performing at and then you listen to the co-workers you do a little bit of talking to people like how is it working with this person and if the same feedback loop comes back where everybody's sort of saying yeah it's not he's not he or she is not great there's always delays except if there's just this feedback that you're con constantly getting then you're starting to get yourself a little bit of a picture and trust me guys that's not fun for any manager to do any per like if it, it is not a fun process but it is a very necessary process and that brings us to the other part of being an incompetent manager if you don't even know how to do that well then you are probably working in a gigantic corporation with multiple layers of people with no understanding where like the topper people top people who actually make all the decisions and so forth they probably think that oh yeah you know people are gonna come to me and tell me about all the things that are going on in the company and they're probably gonna you know let me know what I need to do and so forth and so forth because they are so high level that they never get themselves involved with something that goes down and goes down below right which is once again the problem with having an incompetent general if you don't know where the motherfucking enemy is your army is gonna die or like you're gonna kill everybody uh, because it is your job to keep yourself informed it is not everybody else's job to do your job for you but that is the way for most IT companies think that's how it usually works so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, incompetent software developers usually keep their job due to incompetent management because the average uh, company does not know what a quality software developer looks like most companies uh, buy software uh, have experienced issues and think it's like just an, a thing that has to happen or like that is how IT works no it's usually not it's usually due to the fact that you're getting your uh, uh, you're, you're getting things from people who don't really know exactly what they're doing or they are not very good at it it's actually that simple most of the quality systems that we use every single day like the products that you take for granted they don't usually have as many issues as this like lower end systems and trust me when I say this guys this if you want to feel pain to the point where you probably hate everything computer related try to work in like support roles within different organizations where like they have a hundred different systems and everything is like you have to like move between systems everything is always breaking everything's just falling together every single uh, single day and nothing ever works and then you're blocked and now you're getting heat from your manager and you have to tell them that, oh no the IT guy has to come and fix this because I don't know what to do etc etc that all that comes from this exact thing you have incompetent software engineers who work for incompetent software managers and there is no way to solve that problem it's the same thing as uh, with uh, like an army with an incompetent general or an arm or like a country with an incompetent leader it doesn't really matter if you do not have a person who knows how to get your get you results and actually knows how to spot good people and hire good people that is usually how a, the incompetent software engineers uh, keep themselves employed and there's never really a way to solve this problem apart from as I said you have to have people who know what they're doing uh, take a look at how like the different people working within the organization and spot which departments or like which people are performing which people are not performing and act accordingly but that comes back to the same thing again competency uh, in uh, the managers within the company and that is a scarce scarce thing in today's uh, IT world have a great day